Hey freshmen, college might feel like a million years away, but here's a secret. It's never too early to start thinking about your future. You might think that your grades in freshman year don't count, but that's a total myth. Getting a head start now can make a huge difference down the road. Today's interview with Zanya, ha Zanya Hamilton, an amazing ninth grade academic and college counselor, is packed with essential tips to help you craft a standout college resume by graduation. Good morning, Mrs. Hamilton. Thank you for agreeing to the interview. How's your day going? It's going great, thank you. Good to hear. Let's begin with the questions. Number one, what skills or qualities should freshmen aim to develop that will help them later in their high school careers? That's a great question. We say with freshmen, the main thing to really focus on from a skill aspect is really just the grades, number one. That is so important as a freshman, just to really start boosting that GPA and also just start exploring who you are and some interest outside of grades, like really looking into some clubs or discovery trips or some extra things to begin building that college resume. And also start engaging with the college reps that we have on campus. For example, we have a college day coming up here shortly with a big college fair on Tuesday, September 24th. So that's an amazing opportunity to start engaging with some of the college reps just to get the practice, the practice with firm handshakes, good eye contact, asking good questions and exploring as freshmen. Freshman year is really a year about exploring and just finding out your passions and interests and what those are going to look like in the future when you begin that college application process. Okay, great. <clears throat> How can freshmen effectively balance their schoolwork and their extracurricular activities? That's a good question. Um, the the uh, first way would be through having, if you have a PRT, that personal responsibility time, using that wisely. It's very common to want to go out and meet with your friends and go to the bistro and um, hang out uh, or go get a snack, but really using that time wisely. If you don't have a PRT, just using your planner and really developing that good time management and organization skills to be able to balance the two together is critical. Um, not procrastinating, but really just jumping in and working ahead and planning ahead um, as you're looking at your academics. Yeah, I think that's a good thing for all the freshmen to hear. Mm -hmm. What is the number one reason students don't get into their desired school? And what are some common mistakes students should avoid? Down the road. Um, a lot of it comes down to GPA, quite honestly. Um, schools are so competitive. Um, so really just trying to make yourself stand out above the crowd. Um, later on, adding some rigor to your schedule, if possible, some of those honors classes, dual credit and AP classes can really set you apart academically. And um, another mistake is just sometimes being too academic, meaning not having a well-rounded uh, college application resume. So you really want to have those extracurricular involvement activities other than just athletics or arts, but looking at, again, some service projects or some clubs or some other activities to set you apart, um, not just being a student. A lot of colleges will look at the application process from a holistic approach, meaning they wanna see a well-rounded overall person applying, not just a person who took a lot of hard classes and got a great GPA. So it is a balance of both. Building off of that, what type of club do you think is like the most impressive on a college resume? And like, what would you recommend getting into? I would say pursue clubs that really go with your interest. If you think you might be interested in medicine, for instance, down the road, look at some of our healthcare clubs. If you're more interested in engineering, get involved in a STEM club. If arts is, is your passion, maybe look at getting into the conservatory. So look at clubs that are going to really follow your passion and interest, not just to check a box, but to really um, align with what who you are as a person and what you're interested in pursuing for your future. And then this is my personal favorite question. If you could go back in time and tell your freshman self something, what would it be? Oh, that's a great question. That was a long time ago. <laughs> I think I would have said I was a pretty serious student. Um, I think I would have told myself to relax a little bit, even though grades are super important. Also enjoy your high school experience. It goes so fast. 
and you only have that one opportunity to be a high school student. Um, get involved and do things that are fun. Don't be afraid to try new things. I think as a freshman student, I might have been a little more hesitant, but just stepping outside of the comfort zone and trying new things that maybe you haven't thought of just to see, maybe you'll like it. And if you don't, it's okay. You can always try something different. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. Your insights have been incredibly valuable and I'm sure they're gonna be really helpful towards the audience. Before we end, is there anything else that you wanna add that we haven't covered? Um, I just wanna say that we are here as an academic and college counseling team for you as a student. We love our students. You're always welcome to come by anytime if you have questions or just wanna come by and get to know us or seek some additional advice or guidance. We're here, so come by anytime. We're happy to see you. Thank you so much, Mrs. Hamilton. Have an amazing day. Thank you.